This morning we are on our way to church. We are running the sound and AV in the back for the live stream today, which is going to be interesting because usually we have two people. We have a person that does the sound, one that does the AV, but I guess we were just running low on volunteers this morning, so I'm running both, which is going to be kind of cool. I don't mind. I actually don't mind being able to be back there by myself, being able to, you know, nice and quiet. It'll be good. It'll be good. All right, we got Jacob Restituta running the show back here today. Running the show back here. Hey, what's up? Quick question for you. What would cause me not to get input into the computer? Audio input. Before? Ah, uh, I thought it was opposite. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, sounds good. Thanks. Peace. And we understood what followership looked like. You want to know something funny? It's just very, it's a funny mental thing. There's no, like, actual logic really behind it, but it's just totally mental. Like, I believe very firmly in taking one day off a week. Every week you take off one day. It's called the Sabbath, right? I try very hard to maintain that. The beauty of, of, of my job and Jamie's job is that sometimes, you know, we're able to do that on a Thursday and sometimes we're able to do it on like Saturday or Sunday. The funny part, and this is not just totally like my head kind of thing, I love working on Saturdays. There's something about it I just love, or at least, you know, half days, but like, or until the afternoon. I love it. There's something about it just that is just, it's like it has a different vibe to it, where it's like relaxing a bit more, like you, you, not as much like to do essentially, because like nobody else is working. So it's like kind of going at your own pace. Um, but I don't know, I just find that I end up being really productive and I, I really like it, but I really don't like working on Sundays and there's no difference but it, like yesterday was Saturday and me and Jamie took off yesterday and we had a great day like honestly like we literally just chilled I literally spent like a half an hour just brooming with a broom like a sweep I was literally sweeping my front yard not the grass but the you know the the gravel in the front yard just like half an hour talking to our neighbor just chilling right um but then today I'm like okay so that means I'm gonna work today because Jamie's working today so I you know but it's like, I have no desire to work on a Sunday. And it's literally, there's no difference. I would have rather worked Saturday and taken off Sunday, but it's just like, it's probably like ingrained trait, like what you learn kind of thing. It's like for so long, like we would take Sundays off and now like it's just different, I, you know? And there's no, I don't have to work today. There's no thing that says I have to, but I, there are things I want to get done, uh, especially, um, but it's just funny. Especially, I want to, I really want to, I got a bar and acoustic guitar again, it's in the trunk. And I really want to uh, record an acoustic version of a song that I wrote in 2015 and actually released. It's called Cold Feet. I put up the demo like six months ago. It's a cool song, I think. Um, and we'll see. That, that, that's like the main goal for today because I'm continuing along the song a week. Okay, I'm excited. We got some good TikToks to edit this today. I'm very excited for these. It is time for our weekly Patreon Toodle Plus Zoom call. If you have not joined yet, definitely consider doing so. They're a lot of fun. All right, now we're going for this week's song release. We gotta gotta record some guitar. We haven't done anything. I'm going for an acoustic version of a track. This is a track that I wrote seven years ago, back in 2015. Time flies. Never did anything with it. Figured, you know what? Let me let me give it the opportunity to let it see the light of day. There's not much that we have to do with it, honestly. I feel like I want to try going like straight acoustic. That's how the audio recording I have is in the you know in my voice memo. I'm just curious to see how it sounds. So if we're gonna take a listen. Well, the voicemail cold it's called cold feet you know i put up the uh demo of it on youtube a couple years but a couple months back and people somebody made a comment like i don't know if i follow the storyline which is interesting actually um so i i want to encourage you google what cold feet means to see what see what you get i gotta figure out how to play that now i think it's an e Oh no, it's not. Oh yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's E minor. Ah, okay. So 
Okay, now I figured out how to play it. Now that I realized it, it's not in the key, it's in a different key. So now I got it. It's in it's E minor. I thought it was E major the whole time. Oh, that's warm. These strings need to be changed. Okay, we got this, we got this. Let's figure out the tempo. Let's see, here we go. Yeah, maybe it's for 108. No, it's 110. Well, I was never able to figure it out before because I was in the wrong key. It makes so much more sense now. Oh my goodness. Cold feet, for he knows all too well. Let's see, cold feet. Uh, let's see, I have it in my journal. I have it written in my journal. Let's see what I said. Went to an open mic night in Northport last week. Uh, Kirsten and C challenged each other to write a new song. Now I'm in the challenge this week and the topic is cold feet. Oh man, oh that, that was Wednesday. And then the next day, Thursday, October 8th, 20, I love this, I love having this. Between last night and today, I wrote the song Cold Feet. The songwriting topic challenge was from broken candle to cold feet to makes me think of her. But I had already started writing cold feet, the cold feet one. So I'm gonna try to write both. That's interesting because I think it was Kirsten wrote a song called Makes Me Think of Her. And it was really sick actually. But that's wild to see, man. It's so cool. I, I don't have, did I never pull up the lyrics? Man, it's wild, seven years ago. Seven, six and a half at this point. Okay, so I guess what I need to do right now, I need to write out the lyrics because I never wrote them out actually. I just recorded them on the guitar, like on my phone. So let's go back to cold feet. Cold feet. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's give recording cold feet or all too well, whatever you want to call this song actually, a shot at recording this. A shout out to my friend Dom for uh, allowing me to borrow this guitar. Give this a shot. Okay, good height. Mm -hmm. 